Okay, so we're told that two circles with radii 3 centimeters and 5 centimeters are drawn such that the distance between their centers is 12 centimeters. What is the maximum number of common tangents they may have? Now, a, a tangent line, right, that's tangent again is not referred to the trigonometric ratio tangent, but a line that meets your circle at exactly one point. So I would begin by sketching this out to get a sense of what's happening. Don't be overwhelmed by all these numbers. Just draw the circles and see what makes sense. So here you have a smaller circle, right? One of the circles has a radius of three centimeters. So I'll draw that one here. Okay, so we got that circle. It's got a three centimeter radius. Then we have a circle that's slightly larger. It's five centimeters. Okay, so here we'll draw this circle. Right. Okay, so this is our other circle. And if I draw from the origin over here, we're estimating that that's a pretty good scale drawing for five centimeters, a little bit longer. Now the question is, where do we put these circles? And, you know, they have um, different centers, but are the circles intersecting? What's going on? How far apart are they? Well, the answer is that they're four centimeters apart. And this is something you can quickly figure out by saying, oh, if their centers are all together 12 centimeters apart, right, and you have three centimeters taken up by this radius, and five taken up by this one, that's eight in total. How many are left? Well, there are four centimeters left. So this is a distance here of four centimeters between these two circles. The exact distance actually is irrelevant. And what's fun about this kind of question right here is that all you're doing at this point is establishing that you have two circles that don't touch. And once you have that, and the fact that one circle is larger than the other, you're cut down to four possible tangents. Um, what are they? Well, I could draw, let's say, choose my colors wisely here. Okay, say I draw a point, a tangent that starts at this point, or hits this one right here, right? What would happen in this circle over here? And you can see how, how um, it's difficult to draw, actually. One of the possible tangents, there are not infinite tangents here, is right, let's say, about here, a little bit lower, sorry. That's a good approximation. So this tangent line meets here and here. And then you could have another tangent line in a similar kind of fashion on the interior of these two circles here and here about. So those are two of our tangent lines that are possible, right? And then we could draw two more. And what are those two? Well, they're going to form, let's say, here and here. It's a pretty good drawing of it, but I'll do a little bit better. Sorry. Okay, here and here. That's line three and our last line, line four. And notice I'm, you know, I'm having trouble drawing these again because there are only so many tangents you can draw. They're not infinite tangents at all. You can try and draw other ones, they won't work. Now logically, why do I know that I can't find any more? I think about the way the bigger and smaller circle relate to each other. These outer lines here, these outer tangents, I'll call them, versus the inner tangents here. The outer tangents, you, know, you start with this, this point, and then you slope down to a smaller circle here. Eventually, you know, these two tangent lines go on, right? And they will cross each other, right? So what's going on? Why can't I have a, a point over here, let's say? Well, because of the way the circle is set up, if I draw a line here, Right? In order for the line to come back down and meet the circle, I have to bend it. So I know that, you know, really there's no other point in this arc here that will work. Because as soon as it happens, the tangent line I'm drawing will not be able to meet the smaller circle down here. And for the interior, the same is true. You know, if I pick a point here, let's say, and try and draw a tangent line, what's going to happen is I'm never going to be able to get back at my circle on the left. So all these inner points here on the inner arc will also never be able to form a tangent line as well because they just won't reach the other circle. Now there are other situations when the circles are overlapping, when they're meeting, and that changes the number of common tangents you can have. So here the answer is four. They share these four different types of tangents, uh, but there are no more. And there are others to talk about. I'm just not going to cover them in this video. Thanks.